Good morning and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Wednesday the 10th of June 2020 and the time has just gone 9.30 British summer time. Uh, and this week's Chart of the Week is the Australian dollar versus the Japanese yen, the Aussie yen. And the reason why I want to talk about this currency pair was because the Australian dollar is considered to be a typical example of a risk on currency, uh, which basically means whenever traders are, are bullish about the, the state of the global economy or they're optimistic that, think that prices of assets such as stocks and, and metals are going to rise, um, the, Aussie, the Australian dollar tends to push higher. On the flip side of the divide, the Japanese yen tends to be a risk off currency. Uh, so whenever traders become fearful about the state of the global economy or, or, this are, or there's selling pressure in stocks and or metals, you often see uh, the Japanese yen perform well because it's, it's considered to be or deemed to be a lower risk currency, as kind of a safe haven currency. So I think this is an, an interesting currency pair given that one, one side of it is kind of risk on and the other side of it is risk off. Uh, if we take a look at the price action for the last few months, since mid-March, uh, so nearly for nearly three months now, we've seen a solid upper trend in the Australian dollar versus the, the Japanese yen. And in fact, only in the last couple of days did we see the currency pair hit its highest level in over a year. Um, so it's quite clear that the, um, that the, that the trend has been to the, to the upside. Things are looking quite bullish, although we did see um, a bit of a, a pullback in the last couple of days. Uh, the Australian dollar um, lost ground versus the Japanese yen. The last the lost ground across the board in the last couple of days due to rising political tensions between Australia and China. China is obviously a large, a major export destination for Australian goods. So any kind of political rumblings between those two countries could have negative economic impacts and a, a negative economic impact on the Australian economy. Um, so, so what, what, what I wanted to discuss in this in this in this uh, video is. You know, what are the potential uh, interesting, interesting price points uh, that are on, potentially on the horizon in the near term? You know, are we going to see a continuation of the wider upper trend in the Aussie yen, or are, are we going to look for a reversal? Or is the, the most recent declines that we've seen, is that just a pause in the wider upper trend, or is the beginning of something, could it be the beginning of something larger? Uh, so if we take a look at the, at the price action, in the last couple of days, we've had a fairly decent, fairly decent move to the downside yesterday. Take a look at the MACD histogram, the MACD indicator. We can see that the, the negative move in the, on, on the currency pair has been confirmed by the decline in positive momentum. Uh, so if we do look to press on lower from here, and should we take out yesterday's low in at 74 spot 47, we could be looking heading back towards this red line here, the 200 day moving average, and that comes into play at 72 spot 24. And if we do have a decent break below that, we can head back down towards this area here, whereby where the 100-day moving average and the 50-day moving average both converge. And as you can see, both metrics, the 100-day moving average and the 50-day moving average, have both acted as decent support levels in the past. So, if we if metrics have been act have, have been a fairly decent levels of support in the past, it makes them more likely that there'll be decent levels of support in the future, although there are no guarantees. So these are potential price areas to keep an eye on for to the downside should we see a decent move lower. Now keep in mind the market's been in a solid upward trend for, for nearly three months and we haven't had a very large pullback. We've had a few small ones, but we haven't had a large one. But mind you, there's no guarantee that we are going to have a large pullback. It's quite possible that this pullback that we saw yesterday this move lower could be just a small pullback before we look to press on higher again. And if that is the case, should we press on higher from here? We, and if we take out um, the highs of, of the last couple of days, we could be looking at heading up towards 78. Uh, and then if you go beyond that, uh, we could be looking at heading up towards 80. Um, if you are going to be trading this currency pair, or in fact any 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 instruments on the financial markets in the next day or so, uh, please be mindful that later on today at 1900 British Summer Time, the Federal Reserve will have their interest rate decision, and the press conference will follow 30 minutes later. Uh, thank you for listening. Stay safe. Stay safe. Have a good trading week, and good luck.